Today on our 2017 Honda Civic Sedan, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11604. So here's what our hitch looks like fully installed. It's going to be right underneath the bumper and you're going to see the nice round tube crossbar going across the bottom of the car. Now this is going to give you a one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch receiver tube opening and it has that nice flush reinforced collar around the receiver tube and just give it a nice finished look. Now this hitch is going to use a standard half inch pin and clip which is included so you're not going to have to go out and buy one. Now as far as the safety chain loops there's going to be a plate welded on the bottom and you're still going to have plenty of room to get any hooks on or off. Now this hitch has a 200 pound max tongue weight which is going to be the force pushing down and it also has a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating which is the force it can pull. Now you do want to check with your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure that your vehicle can handle that. Now the manufacturer does recommend when, not, when towing non-trailer loads that you do use a stabilization strap which you can find on our website using part number 18050. Now I'm going to give you a few measurements that should help you when deciding on accessories such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 5 inches. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube is 11 inches. Now that we've gone over some features, let's go and show you how we get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to need to pick up our hitch and put it in place and we're going to be placing it right on the frame rail right on either side of the exhaust here we're going to be placing our hitch here and marking our holes where we're going to need to drill. Now with an extra set of hands we can get our hitch in place. Alright with our hitch in position I'm just going to rest it against these bolts to help me. I'm just going to mark out our holes and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And Now we can lower our hitch back down and set it aside while we get ready to drill our holes. Now with everything marked I'm going to be using a quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to make those holes first and then we're going to come back with a half inch drill bit. And we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. With our two holes that we just drilled on each side, if you come to the forwardmost hole, this is going to be our access hole. So since our hardware is not going to fit through there, we're going to have to enlarge this hole. And you can use a step drill bit, a file, a die grinder, or whatever you have available to make the hole big enough to fit our spacer blocks. I'm going to be using a step drill, and I'm going to make it just big enough to get our hardware in. Now you can see that our spacer block fits right inside of our access hole. Now we're going to do the same process on the other side. So I'm going to take my pull wire and I'm going to put it in the furthest rear hole. And I'm going to be wanting it to come out here in my access hole. Now this may take a little bit of patience. And I do want to remind you we did just get drilling the access hole so there will be some sharp edges. A little trick is once you get it in there and you can find it with your finger, you get a pair of needle nose pliers, you should be able to reach in and grab it. and we're just going to want our wire to come out right here. Okay, now with our pull wire here, we're going to take our spacer block, and we're going to feed it over and through our pull wire, and then we're going to take our bolt and we're going to thread it on to the coiled end. Now we're going to feed our block into our access hole, and we're going to push our bolt into our access hole, and we're going to come back to the wire and we're going to pull everything down just like that. Now for our second access hole, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pull wire and we're going to feed our spacer block on just like before and we're going to thread on our bolt to the coiled end again. And this time we're going to put our bolt in first followed by our spacer block And then we're just going to pull our bolt down just like that and we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Now with all of our hardware in place, with the next set of hands, we're going to go ahead and put the hitch up. 
and just making sure that we put our fish wires through the corresponding hole on the hitch. Now we can remove our fish wire off one of our bolts. And we're just gonna secure our flange nut on there tight enough just so the hitch will support itself. We're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. Now we can go ahead and take our pull wires off the rest of our hardware. We can go ahead and put our flange nuts on. Now with the hardware all loosely in place, I'm gonna come to the back here and make sure that our hitch is centered. And then we can go and snug up our hardware. Now I'm gonna be using an 11 16th socket. Now that our fasteners are all snug down, I'm gonna come back and torque them to the specified amount in this instructions. And that'll finish up our look at the Curt Custom Fit Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11604 on our 2007. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.